Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Picker Plays Frostpunk. We are back in the city that is very, 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 very fucked. We are back. <laughs> That's the name of the city, by the way. Very, 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 very fucked. That's the name of the city. Okay, so we have 28 gravely injured, and some of them are being in palliative care. Some of them are amputees. Oh. I thought we didn't do amputees, but I guess that happens with frostbite. We have our heater in overdrive, and, uh, huh. Maybe I'll just keep, yeah, I can't, I refuse to let it go above 50, so I'm just going to watch this. Yeah, keep it up while it's all started at the generator. <laughs> if this keeps going, it explodes. Oh, efficiency, nice. Another theft. Captain, the Londoners are stealing again. They've taken 39 food rations from the stockpile. People are angry at the Londoners for putting their crazy idea before the needs of the city. Okay, back with the Faith Keepers. Back at it again. Also, we need some more tech. Efficiency is done. I could go Steam Hub Range upgrade or improved heaters. Because, yeah, it's basically entirely... Coal mining optimization, which would be 100% coal mining. Uh, charcoal kin, kiln will let us turn wood into charcoal, which is actually pretty useful for us because we have too much wood and not enough coal. So let's go for that for now at least. <sighs> I've been overworking just about everything to try and make it through this cold spell. We got another day until we reach that point. Faith keepers have succeeded. <laughs> Pena. And this. Caught red-handed. Our faith keepers did well. They got the goods back, and more importantly, they caught one of the thieves. Now we can put an end to the stealing. They're asking what we should do with the theft. Let him go, but next time he'll have to repent. And you all three days to sign the public penance law. Banish him. Or the people will decide his fate. His content will rise. Uh, sure, public penance law. Sounds fun. Sounds like a good way to start my crazy cult. Which is basically just all my YouTube subscribers. We're going. Amputees. Yeah, go away. I'll do it later. We're still in overdrive. Which has, at the very least, seriously helped our situation. It's not as many sick, not as many gravely injured. And a lot in palliative care. Oh, boy. Don't want that to go up much higher. But we don't have a choice now, do we? You, uh, lady? Meanwhile, we got these houses up and running. You can go in. You're still being built, by the looks of it. Uh, huh. Hey, go, go away. Go away, though. I want to make sure I'm not going to blow myself up. And does this stress go down? Or what? Like, I don't want to overstress the thing. It's already at nearly 50. Consumption is hey 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 we're functioning in the black. A new work day, so while people are away, put it down, let it cool off a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Charcoal kiln. Charcoal kiln is right there. A good place for the charcoal kiln in my kiln, in my opinion, will be right here. In this kind of uh, area. Actually, yeah, I could put it out just in the wastes. Well, why not? Oh, hey, look at that. There's a little uh, symbol there on the machines now. We can make that. We can use that to turn wood into coal, which is a very, very specific thing that really only happens for us. I don't know how quickly that stress goes away. Heating. Overdrive couplers. Generator safety bypass. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. Improved heaters would, yeah, bring up problems of their own. Coal thumpers, steam thumper. I pump my hot. Yeah, um, what's the thing though? I guess it just does more. Meanwhile, we can have gathering post installation or a sawmill upgrade. Charcoal kiln thermostat. 33% 30, more coal. Mine optimization exploration would be the outpost depot. I'm kind of thinking, mm, let's do heaters for now. 
Then go Outpost Depot, because this coal mine will be an Outpost Depot. It'll be an Office Depot, and then an Outpost Depot. Let's let it play you. We're having a lot of places that just don't have people working there anymore, because they died. You fill up with engineers. You, yeah, you're slowly going down. That's good. We can keep it going if it gets like really bad, which it kind of is. But if it gets really bad, we can hopefully do something about that. My chapel, still gonna work. Places in range is mostly bunkhouses. This place is too cold, so bring it up a little. No residents in them though. It's just a giant sector for that kind of stuff. And yeah, it's actually all right next to a steam hub already. Which if I get steam hub range, it'll all be within reach. And oh boy, oh boy, everybody's dying. Everybody's missing work because they're all dead. These things are still running 24 hours at the workshop. They have... They really kind of screwed themselves over, but they can get out probably three different researches just doing that. Metal frostbite, uh, that's going to be more amputees. That's going to be more amputees. Why it's got to be more amputees? Put that in, and I need this kiln. Start helping out, buddy, buddy boys. You will make about four an hour using wood, which will help burn through our wood problem. You, you can start using workers again, that's fine. We have something to do with all that wood now. It's just it's okay. Uh, Faith Keeper success. Thefts and emergency shifts have really bumped up the discontent. Improved heaters is done. What was I thinking of? I was thinking outpost depots? Well, that can be later, so long as... Ooh, an infirmary. A steam heated inventory with 10 beds, sick or treated faster than medical posts, and gravely ill can be treated safely and reliably. Takes a steam cord at which we have one, and I like it. I need to sign the penitence, the public penance law. Ain't too bad. It's still effing cold everywhere, but at least it ain't too bad. When it gets to night time and it's not work time and everyone goes back to their homes, that's when I'll kick it into high gear. At least for the last little bit. One more day and then I'll go back up and then I'll go down three! It'll go down three! Then I'll be negative 70. Oh my god. Well, at least it temperature overlay. At least it'll give us time to cool down our overdrive. My god. Let's let it play. You are still inoperative because it's too cold. Okay, fine. Just don't work there. Just, just your child shelter. It's too cold, huh? Oh yeah, it's right outside the range. Okay. At least our hope is okay. We need the public penance law for reasons. Faith keepers, public penance. Oh, nothing weird about this at all. To err is human. But those who stray must do public penance to discourage others on the path of evil. Only then can they be forgiven. Discontent will rise. Public penance can cause injuries. Lower discontent. Uh, use raise, Each use raises hope. Nice. Public. Yay. Public penance is allowed by faith keepers. Meaning, that'd be you. And whip that shit. Cell so start the generator. It's for you. You're almost ready to do that again. So let it go. Discontent goes up. Hope goes... No, discontent goes up and hope goes up. Hey, you win some, you lose some, eh? What was that? 28 gravely injured? How? They're all going to a sermon. You, eh? you idiots. You don't have any food to collect with. Okay, fine. Overdrive. For now. You're on the infirmary. Makes sense. <sighs> At least we're getting closer and closer to that temperature increase. Ah! Stop fighting. The pain will cleanse you. They who stray from the righteous path bring pain to themselves. 
This will beat all the wickedness out of you, scum. It'll soon be over and you'll be with us again. Yeah, it's so much of the being held, like, uh, be a good guy thing. Looks like that didn't really work out. Hey, my, my people are waiting. More coal than we can use. The, this coal mine was in operation till very recently. The machinery isn't running now, but there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Perhaps the mine simply extracted its quota or filled the loading bay. We can retrieve plenty of raw materials if we took the machinery apart. However, I don't want to, because I want to use it later. Only take the stored coal. And because you're so far away, just head home with that coal. I'ma need it soon enough. Oh boy. It's too cold. But we're right, right on the edge. We just need to keep this going until it's done. Yeah. I'm sure our consumption is insane. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's so much. Why is it gonna be so much? You guys are almost done. Good. These things are currently too cold. Yeah. Okay. And no one's working there. You don't say. It's almost like it's too cold. Fill it up. Fill it up, Scotty. Fill it up. It's one thing I like about automatons. They don't die on you. What was that? There was a house in here that's too cold. No residents because it's too cold. Maybe if you weren't complaining all the time. Okay, make sure you don't blow up. Make sure we get to that promised land of the temperature increase. The sick are for the most part going away from the free time. What's this? Another theft. Faith gave us. Keep going, Faith gave us. Keep keeping. Ooh, look at the tendency. It's going way down. It's going down fast. And they have six days left. Not bad. They'll still probably lose around maybe 50 to 40. And they'll probably be irre irreplaceable, but, you know, we'll get out of it. Discontent. For something. Faith Keeper murdered? One of our Faith Keepers has been beaten to death while investigating a theft. We caught one of the thieves, but he's not the murderer. What should we do with him? Give him a chance to repent. Number of Londoners will fall. Banish him. The city will leave the city forever. Uh, well, we're going heavy Faith hand, so give him a chance to repent, huh? Murder? One of our people died. On day 23 of our arrival, one... Yeah, that's the thing. It's only been 23 days here. A citizen killed in a fight. We have 19 hours left on this thing because we're in overdrive. We're almost there, so let's put down the overdrive just for now. And let us get heat. First London is convinced to stay. Sir, so several of the people who wanted to flee to London have decided to trust in you and stay. They say that the recent discover decisions convinced them there's a hope for us here yet. Yes, good. That would do, that would do. And please give me that heat. Yes, I have to hold on. Melt away, melt away. So if I go down to say steam level one, what happens? Most places stay livable. Maybe put you up, no, still not enough. Uh, how about range one, heat two? These areas lose their heat, but that's not so bad. Yaki Chopa. As for you, uh, eating prayers and sermons. Hope goes way up, skyrockets. Meanwhile, just you, just calm down. Calm your tits. My dude, about 19 hours left on you. These places still don't have enough, but I guess that should be fine. They're chilly. They're not unimpossible to work with. Okay, so we made it out of that cold spell, but it's going to get even worse. And then it'll get three levels down, then two levels up. So it'll be a net negative of two. Dreadnought landing. A huge ship has been, dis has been dismantled here. Only the massive keel plates remain under the ice. Railroad tracks lead south. Steam cores... Steel and woods. Light to the south. Hmm. We found the piece of hull plate bolted to a boulder. It's engraved with the following inscriptions. In the year 1888, the American expedition abroad, Hemestephus, I don't know what that is, he, hef, Aestus, Hephaestus, landed here in, such, in search of a haven from the global gla glaciation. 
May God preserve the souls of our fellow countrymen who perished on the way aboard our sister ship Prometheus. Yeah. So I discovered Tesla City. So we know that Tesla City exists, and apparently this is south. You are now weighted down with wood, a lot of steel, and steam core. Not too bad. However, while we're on the path, I believe you are the oldest one. Yes? No. Read journal. Close journal. 12 hours to arrive. We'll see what's there. You're still coming home with your coal. You go. Start going. How are we doing? Where coal gain is still ahead, we need to stockpile as much as we can. Londoners' tendency is three times down now, and they have five days left. So about the end of the week. Everything here is still fine. What if I bring this down a bit? Eh. There's some bunkhouses in the center that have kind of been left out in the lurch. But honestly, a bit, a little chilly ain't so bad. And it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Hmm. Medical post. Where's my... Yeah. In here. Still only six people have died the whole time. I would like to get that infirmary out. Relatively close to home. Oh, what would I need to do for that? Uh, there's a medical post there. If I removed it and this bunkhouse, if I remove those two things, you don't even have residence. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. And get rid of some no, body, some roads here. And the road there. Probably the road there too. Open up a big old space and I can get a big infirmary right in the center. Meanwhile for us, insulation. Heating's going to be an important part of this. Uh, outpost depot. Resources. Food shelter. Do I go for resources? Steam coal thumper resources? Mm. Kind of want to get the outpost depot but at the same time. An optimization, nine hours on you, food and health. Healthcare insulation? Be useful. This, the range increase. I got I got time for all these things. Let's start with resource gathering and optimization. Then go into insulation, then go into range. And we can go for a bit. As for this, you are fine. Yeah, you got 800 left. You're okay. Over here, I know one of them has to have run out by now, right? I think I've already taken it out. It was it was back there. You are full. So took out the area. Infirmary, please. Uh, uh. This bunkhouse is now in the way. Get rid of it. However, that also means I need to remove this road. Keep it going. Right there, right next to the Faith Keepers, I would like to put the main infirmary. Very close to the steam. It's still on steam level 2, but it has to be. And slowly going down. We have a few days. As for the Londoners, they're at 44 now. So that's honestly not terrible. Even if they left right at this moment, it wouldn't be horrible. Faith Kiwas. Free time. Infirmary. Bam. Is there anything I could fit into that space? How big is it? Ah, it's too small. It's a 2x2 two two tile. Everything's too small. I'm trying to fit things in here. <laughs> Please. Don't let Londoners disrupt the city. Don't let them. Oh, hey, you have arrived. Tesla City. The city is modern and meticulously built. A tall tower emits a constant barrier of lightning, deflecting the incoming snow, but nobody comes out to greet us. Explore. Thunder unleashed. Able minds and bodies will prevail over the cold, reads the slogan in the entrance of Tesla City. 
A central tower sh central tall tower shines with a blue glow of the elect electric discharges, which form a protective dome over the town. But something went wrong here. There's a charred bodies lying in the streets, and the stench of burned flesh taints the air. We saw the lightning strike from the tower, hitting a building and leaving a gash on its roof. Risk entering the city. Scouts will try to disable the electrical discharge or stay away from the city. We'll search the outskirts. We didn't dare enter. We searched the outskirts to test the city. It seems that nobody was survived inside, but some people may have escaped. Interesting. So that's Tesla City for us. Probably would have died if we went in there. Everyone else did. Uh, let's go to the fishing village, see what happened. I wonder why some of them were exiled, because we met the exiles and we've already brought them home. Already brought them back. Let's see, let's see. Aha, the infirmary. Engineers. Welcome here. What do we got? It's a comfortable living space. Patients. Going to treatment. Very good. We got so many. Why is everyone gravely sick? Why can't you just live and let live? Let's turn that on. Unless, I believe you're the coal mine that uses a. Yep, you're the automaton. Makes sense. Uh, you are. You have full engineers and you're not doing anything. I could make more food out of this. I guess we can. While we're doing nothing else. You are working. But your storage is too high. How much charcoal do we make out of you? Char- Oh, it's because we're on free time. Gotcha. We're only slightly ahead of them. Generator, steam hubs, heaters. Heaters actually cost the most per day. Health stats, if we in, yeah. Bacon beds, 18 care houses, zero tents, 27 bunk houses, and no houses just yet. But you know, I'm gonna cut the video here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.